Learning Software Tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be going over how to assign schedules to your employees. This is a multi-step process, which requires specific settings to be pre-configured prior to being able to assign schedules. Step 1. The first step to enabling schedules to employees within the Easy Clocking software requires that you, the administrator, enable the scheduling option. This option may be enabled within the initial startup of the Easy Clocking software. This option is defined as do you want to use schedules within the Pay Settings menu pane, found within the General sub-tab of the Settings tab. Upon enabling the scheduling option, you will then have the option of specifying the settings to be applied to created schedules. Options specified here will be displayed within the employee portal, as well as the Easy Clocking mobile app, should you grant access of these features to your employees. Options specified here will also be displayed within the scheduling reports. Do you want to show location on schedules is a yes or no option. Enabling this option will display the company locations associated to specified employee profiles upon display of their schedules. Show original schedule hours is a yes or no option. Enabling this option specifies the display of scheduled hours worked within the software, not total hours worked and approved. Do you want to consider the out of shift as regular hours is a yes or no option. Enabling this option will specify to the software to automatically approved out of shift hours worked by employees. Select the save option to enact changes specified. You will be prompted upon successful scheduling change initiation. Select OK to continue. You will be required to refresh the browser in order for the shifts tab to be displayed. Prior to assigning shifts, if you have job codes registered within the software and would like them displayed within schedules, you must enable the Show Projects and Jobs on Schedule option. This option is found within the General Sub-Tab of the Settings tab. Step 2. Within the Shifts tab, you will be able to create shifts to be assigned to employees. Shifts created here will become the scheduling guidelines for your employees. Let's go ahead and demonstrate the creation of a shift. Selecting the Create Shift option, located in the right-hand corner, will lead us to a pop-up wizard, with fields to be filled for the creation of a shift. Under Shift Name, you must assign a name to the shift to be created. You must then specify the start times and end times of said shift, as well as the kind of shift type to be created. Same day specifies that the employee shift does not cross midnight. Crosses midnight. Specifies that the employee shift does in fact cross midnight. If this option is not enabled and employee shifts do in fact cross midnight, these shifts will be registered as two separate shifts within the software. Two days. This option specifies that the employee schedules to be created will be working over 48 hours. Three days. This option specifies that the employee will be working over 72 hours. Do you want to allow the grace period time? This option when selected will allow you to set an allotted time in minutes that employees are allowed to clock in without being considered tardy. Select Create to register the shift created within the software. You will be prompted upon successful creation of a shift. Select OK to continue. Step 3. Navigate to the Schedule sub-tab, located within the Dashboard tab of the Easy Clocking software. Within this tab, you may assign schedules to employees registered within the software. To register a single schedule, you need only select an employee and a date from the calendar displayed to assign the employee scheduling. Upon date selection within the calendar, a new pop-up wizard will appear you will be required to assign a location from those pre-registered within the software to said employee. Select Next to continue. You must select a shift from those pre-registered within the software. If you'd like to create a new shift with different parameters to apply to the employee, you may do so here by selecting New. 
you must specify the type of shift and the time range to associate to this newly created shift. Select Next to continue. You have the option of assigning a pay class to said employee from those pre-registered within the software. You may also assign a pay differential for the schedule created. You may assign a fixed amount or multiplier to said employee. Select Next to continue. The final submenu of this pop-up wizard will encompass the job code specification, which will be displayed if you enacted the Show Projects and Jobs on the Schedule option within the software. You may specify the project, job, and the rate to be assigned. The job rate, user rate, or a specific rate, wherein you may assign a rate amount. Select Create to continue. You will be prompted upon successful creation of the schedule. Select OK to continue. Schedules created will be displayed within the calendar of said employee. To assign schedules to multiple employees, you must first choose the employees, which will have schedules assigned to them. You may choose Select All or choose specific employees to have schedules assigned. Upon selecting those employees to have schedules assigned to them, you may assign a schedule for a specific day, as shown previously, or determine schedule recurrence for multiple days. In order to assign recurring schedules, you must select the Schedule Options, then the Create Schedules option, located in the right-hand corner of the Schedule sub-tab. Upon selection of Create Schedules, a new pop-up wizard will appear. Within this new submenu, users selected will be displayed. You, the administrator, have the option of assigning a location to the employees for the schedules to be assigned. Select Next to continue. Within the Select the Recurrence pattern, you must specify the scheduling recurrence within the software, whether it be daily, weekly, or monthly. Upon specifying the recurrence, you must specify the frequency in weeks, along with the weekdays, which will encompass a typical work week for said employees. You must then specify the initial start date and end date of said employee schedules. Within the Select the Shift option, you must specify a shift to be assigned to selected employees. You may search for a shift within the field, or assign a new shift by selecting the New option. Selecting this option will display new fields to be filled, wherein you must specify the shift type as well as the time range. Select Next to continue. Within this submenu, a pay class may be assigned to selected employees, as well as a pay differential to specified employees. Select Next to continue. The final submenu of this pop-up wizard will encompass the job code specifications, which will be displayed if you enacted the show projects and jobs on schedule option. You may specify the project, job, and the rate to be assigned. The job rate, user rate, or a specific rate wherein you may assign a rate amount. Select Create to assign schedules to said employees. You will be prompted upon successful creation of schedules. Select OK to continue. Schedules created will be displayed within the calendar display. This concludes the tutorial on creating schedules within the Easy Clocking software.